Darcy, Katie, Darcy, Katie. Good evening, everyone. City Council members and Mayor Dr. Rita Ali. Thank you all so much for riding this wave tonight with this extended meeting. Um, I'm here on behalf of Peoria for Palestine, so I really struggled to put what I'm about to tell you next into words because it's my story, my sibling's story, and my father's story. Um, I know the relevance of this might not make sense now, but I hope by the end of my speech that you'll see clearly why change is necessary and action must be taken. Um, the story begins in 1969 when my father chose to give up his full ride scholarship to play football for Bradley University and to enlist in the United States Navy at the age of 17. After receiving his training at the U.S. Naval Academy, he would go on to become a member of the United States Navy Special Operations Force, also known as the Navy SEALs. During his service, he was stationed in Guam in the Western Pacific and later Vietnam. While serving in Vietnam, my father would be exposed to large amounts of a white powdery substance that would later become known as Agent Orange. I recall being told stories of how he would be covered along with the other soldiers from head to toe as they would make their way through the Vietnamese jungle. Agent Orange is a toxic herbicide that was used by the US military during the Vietnam War from 61 to 71 as part of Operation Ranch Hand. According to the US military, the goal was to rob the Viet Cong of food sources and places to hide amongst the foliage. US military reportedly mixed and used Agent Orange at a rate of six to 25 times the strength recommended by the manufacturers. This persistent organic pollutant would leave behind a lethal legacy for all exposed to it, as well as many of their descendants. Fast forward to 1996, and my father is suddenly diagnosed with an aggressive form of nasopharyngeal cancer. After completing multiple rounds of radiation treatments along with chemotherapy, he was given three days to live by his medical team. Through sheer determination and grit, my dad would go on to outlive his cancer diagnosis by 27 years. And he paid the price for it every day. I'm sorry. The radiation and chemo treatments that he received, he would lose all of his teeth, his facial hair, he would begin to aspirate food into his lungs due to the damage sustained to his esophagus. <clears throat> and he would spend the last seven years of his life receiving nutrition through a G-tube. He would spend the last five years of his life with vascular dementia. None of these things were hereditary. They were all attributed due to his time in the service where he was exposed to Agent Orange by both his civilian doctors as well as his care team at the VA. But remember what I said about a lethal legacy. My father would go on to have six daughters, five of which would have presented, excuse me, five of which would present with rare and chronic diseases with no prior family history. What makes this even more unsettling is that my siblings and I do not share the same diagnosis. Our care teams could not attribute these chronic and rare diseases after extensive testing to any other source other than genetic mutations. I know none of you were expecting a review of seventh grade science tonight, but the reason that I bring this up in detail is because it's important to clearly state that these diseases are not hereditary. Their origin is environmental. We received mutated genes from our father's Agent Orange exposure, and now we also pay the price too, due to the United States government's negligent use of chemicals on a civilian population. This is a direct violation of the Geneva Convention. With my particular condition, also known as Sappho syndrome, I am aging internally at approximately twice the rate of my peers. My spine and major joints are fusing together and multiple body systems have been affected. I apologize, Madam Mayor, for the time. I find this to be unacceptable and should have never happened to myself, nor my siblings, nor anyone. 
but there are millions more of me being created in Palestine every time the IOF drops white phosphorus bombs on innocent civilians paid for by our local tax dollars. It's not enough for 5% of the Palestinian palace population to be wiped out in genocide committed by Israel and I'm sorry your time is up thank you